Hi, my name is Councillor Martin Mullaney. I'm the councillor for Mosley and Kingsheath Ward. And today I'm just going to explain some of the work that we've been doing on Trafalgar Road Pocket Park. Um, just to get our bearings of exactly where we are. Right, <clears throat> the park is here behind me. That's the uh, children's playground. I'll just pan the camera around. Um, this is Trafalgar Road here. Old Sister Road is at the end there, number 50 bus route. Um, just there is Epic Skateboard Park, Fenty Claus is here. And if I pan the camera around up Trafalgar Road, the sun's going to come into vision there, but if you go up Trafalgar Road, you go up to Woodbridge Road at the top there, and there's Patrick Cavanagh Pub. Um, again, just panning around. The, um, at the back there, and we'll see it probably a lot better later on, is the Camp Hill Railway Line that goes, used to serve Mosley Railway Station and King's Eve Railway Station. And down here, you just see some houses there. That's the back of some houses which front onto Brighton Road, and if you were to sort of jump over them, just here is the Mulshawl Pub. So that's our bearings. Now if you come down here two years ago, like, I mean, I got elected June 2004, um, basically the, this place was just an absolute mess, absolute wreck. Um, all around, all the bushes were overgrown, um, you know, you, you would not have been able to see through there. Uh, and we had basically teenagers up to no good, having fires and ugh, horrible stuff. Um, there was a wooden fence down there and there was just a gap here. And basically what would happen, it was used as a mugger's pathway. Um, people would get mugged in this spot here. This was a crime hotspot for mugging. And the muggers would then escape through the park, through there, into the bushes. And now what we've done down the bottom there was one of the first things we did was a closet up. Basically we removed all the wooden fencing uh, and put a welded mesh fence. You can't really see it on the camera, but we'll see later on. Got rid of that gap. Basically, it means that vision of the houses on Brighton Road and they can see what's going on here. It basically stopped their antisocial behaviour. Um, the, also, another thing that happened a few years ago, which we stopped, was just in the corner there, there was a brick wall, you can see it later on, where the kids would jump over onto the railway line and play chicken. Um, again, there was other issues here where you had gangs of youths just hanging round. Um, and basically tormenting all the residents. Uh, but anyway, just to walk through, <clears throat> we're spending £10,000 this autumn, uh, and this is what we want to keep doing every year to improve the park. What we want to do is get the community to reclaim this park. Uh, one of the things we did, because we got some play activities last summer, again, we, to encourage people to get into the park. You can see, can you see this um, brown patch here? There was a big mound here, about four foot high, and one of the things we found during the summer was that with the play scheme, there wasn't much flat space here for the kids to actually do, you know, things like kicking a ball around. So one of the things we're doing is flattening these mounds. So that's one you can see there. So this becomes a useful space for kids. Um, and I'm just walking around here. Another thing we're going to be doing uh, probably March time is actually getting the local school children to plant a. a a blue bell wood here again getting the children involved and it makes it a lot more attractive and <clears throat> and also it, it gets a bit more wild because the other thing is that it's just an overgrown mess with only things that live here I, I, wildlife are the rats underneath these bushes now you can see you know, there's a brown you can see sort of the brown patch coming up here now uh, here there was a huge crater I don't know what its, what it's origins were about six feet deep and um, full of laurel bushes and what would happen again when they would become a councillor residents are complaining that drug dealing was going on here uh, the drug dealers would come here into this crater that was just here and uh, leave the heroin or cocaine whatever it was and then half an hour later someone would come up and custom up and pick up the, the stash as such um, so one of the first things we could do was get rid of all the laurel bushes and again to create a nice flat space for the kids to use we filled in that mound um, oh, now, other thing you can see, see how we've, this winter, we've trimmed back all these bushes here, around the side here. Again, to imp improve the view from these windows so people can see into the park. Um, just past here, I mean, we walked past it earlier on, this tree here. Now, this tree, quite interestingly, um, 
we, we've trimmed it back and it was all, it was all covered with ivy and we've tr- removed all the ivy because what it was is that we've got residents here who actually <laughs> um, keep an eye on this playground and if they see older kids bullying the younger kids they will shout at the window and they were saying basically that tree and all the overgrown ivy on it was blocking their view so we've trimmed that back this winter this playground we want to invest in um, in the coming years uh, but again, when we first came here, it was covered in graffiti tags. Uh, I mean, even the um, the slide itself would have all graffiti tags. It was just unusable by the kids. Uh, so we've cleaned that, and we've been, uh, you know, regularly cleaning this place. The other thing we had, we had uh, gangs of youth operating in this area. Again, in June 2004, uh, there was a gang of kids from the... They called themselves... They were 14, 50-year-old uh, Afro-Caribbean youths of origin who called themselves the, the Untouchable Soldiers, the UTS... Um, we've had antisocial behaviour orders issued against all of them. Um, I mean, we, we actually <laughs> crazy story was that we actually found out what the individual tags were because we put them into some police cells individually, and then they tagged the police cells. So we then fa- so we was able to identify, do them one for da- police damage, but then we recognised the individual tags. Uh, had antisocial behaviour orders against them, and they've gone very quiet now. Uh, obviously, of concern to us is the other side of Brighton Road. that are some gangs over there. You got the Cold-Hearted Soldiers operating Clifton Road, uh, CHS, and then over in if you jump all the railway line that way, Bullsley Park. They got the PSK and Afro- um, an Asian gang. Gone very quiet again through police uh, anti-social behaviour orders. But coming back to this playground, I mean, one thing we want to do is get some more interesting equipment here because. This is very sort of old equipment now, and um, get a bit more stimulating for the kids. I mean, get rid of all this wood chip and put some proper plastic covering here, uh, and get maybe proper adventure playground, um, and, 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 and also um, <clears throat> get regular play schemes in here. Uh, one final bit to, uh, to say is that all the properties around this park are all owned by what was Focus Property, now Midland Heart. Because one thing we're concerned about is that there is a high level of economic poverty in this immediate area. So we've uh, employed some street advisors to basically knock on the doors and, tr- and try and help people get back into jobs. And we do hope to get some training schemes in the, in the near future. Uh, so that's just a brief overview of what we're doing in Trafalgar Road Pocket Park. <laughs>